okay now let's see how roles work okay let me clear the screen let's follow step by step the first thing which we will do is create role manager role role is created and then let's assign insert update delete privileges on dw dot sales history to manager role okay grant succeeded let's assign the system privilege create table to manager role it is succeeded and now let's grant this manager role to Peter so now let's create one more role because we need operations role right so create role operations role okay and what privileges shall we assign to this operations role it is insert update on DW dot sales to operations role and also let's assign insert update on DW dot product to operations role okay that's good and now let's assign this operations role to a manager role yes you can assign one role to another role grant operations role to manager role okay operations I spelled it out wrong grant operations role to manager a role it is succeeded now let's assign this operations role to John and also assign this role to Tom you see how simple it is by using the roles instead of managing each privilege on a table or a sets of table and assigning it to users creating a role and then assigning it to the users is a good idea never manage the privileges individually always create a set of roles and then assign those roles to the users okay now if you want you can test it out what does Tom has Tom as operations role and operations role has insert update on sales and insert update on product if you want you can test that out so let me connect to Tom okay and then let's see if we can insert data into product so insert into product values one okay it says table or view does not exist why because the product table is not in the schema term it is in DW so we need to say insert into DW dot product values one you see one row created like this we need to manage the permissions for all the users okay